my people. So, <clears throat> excuse me, cleaning out my trailer. I kind of cleaning out my trailer. I'm trying to trying to kind of organize. I need a bigger trailer. So, but I had another idea. Um, figured I'd go over some of the tools that I use. Um, so, I guess my most common tools, um, I don't know. It, I guess, what, what I, what I keep in my tool belt, typically. Um, it's actually not a lot. You get a lot of work done with not a lot of tools. Um, I know everybody's big on... I need I need this giant saw. I need this giant drill. I need this super tiny drill. I need this super tiny saw. I need this nail gun. I need that nail gun. And I've I've got all those tools. They have their place. Um, if you're making if you're making money doing it, yeah, they all have their place. They all let you make money quicker. <clears throat> they all let you. They, well, yeah, they all help you make money quicker and more efficiently. Um, they help you get the job done more quicker. And, they help you get your job done more quick. <laughs> what am I trying to say? English. English. Um, they help you get your job done more efficiently. You get your job more done more efficiently, you typically get it done quicker and I mean that's part of being more efficient is getting it done quicker um but if, if you're not making money doing it and even still I'm making money I'm making making my living doing this and I have set up in my tool belt I have specific tools that I use um and I've been I've had the same setup for years so, <clears throat> first off, gotta have a hammer. And all, all this is relative to what you're doing. An electrician's tool belt is not gonna look like a carpenter's tool belt or a handyman's tool belt or a plumber's tool belt. Um, mine is kind of, honestly, it's kind of an all around uh, belt. It's most, geared more towards carpentry. Um, so, but I've got, I've got my hammer. That's number one. Well, I guess number one, you gotta have a tool belt. I've got, I've got two different tool belts. Um, I've got one, this, this one right here is, um, just a leather belt. It's got just, it's got two side pockets, two small side pockets, and then tape, tape measure pocket. Um, this one right here is one that I built. It's it's got it's got much bigger pockets. Um, you've seen you've seen me wear it on some of my other videos, um, but usually I'll I'll usually use it when I'm on a roof or something and don't really need. Like I, I'll usually just take this pocket off and just run it with my tool with my tape holder my tape pocket and just this pocket and it's got enough to where I can typically run what I need to run. I'm not trying to carry everything. So, but this is, this is my main belt. So, of course, like I said, hammer, you got pencils. Um, if you don't know what a pencil's for, I can't help you on that. So, you 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 may already be out of your league if you don't know what a pencil's for. Um, this wave focus. Why do I have the toughest time getting things to focus in up close? Anyway, this is a nail set. Um, I've got that one, and on this other side, I've got two other ones. They're all small, medium, large. Um up front this guy right here 
this this guy right here is amazing it's uh got his big brother back here this is not something that you just want to carry around in your tool belt this right here is perfectly fine in your tool belt i mean you can see the size difference um it's good for I mean, it's good for anything you need a pry bar for. Um, as long as you don't need just something stupid big. I imagine, I imagine that's actually got a purpose, that little slot on that tool belt. But I, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's like a combination square. We're gonna try something real quick. It may be, it may be exactly what it's for. Yeah, that's for a, uh, that's for a combination square. <laughs> You learn something new every day. I've never really, I've never really thought about it. So yeah, that's what that's for. Okay, cool. Y'all, I'm learning with y'all. Um, but I keep my little prop. I keep my baby bar, is what I call it. Um, left-handed. Most the tools that I use the most are in my left pocket. Razor knife. wire cutters spend some money on spend some money on some good wire cutters i use clients you made in usa um not a sponsor but i'm willing i'm 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 open i'm open to anybody um but these i mean you can you can cut through just about anything with these and uh these are actually getting a little beat up um but i've had these for years so as many nails as I've cut with them, they've paid for themselves. Five and one, 14 and one, 20 and one, 80 and one, whatever you want to call it. I call it a five and one. It's a stiff blade scraper. And it's, I've gone over that in another video. I don't remember which video it was, but I've gone over it. Um, so y'all are just gonna have to watch the rest of them. It's another razor knife. That are going here. Whoop, no, wait. Which one is this? No, I don't want that one in there. I've got, I've got preferred knives. I don't. There's there's few a few different things about them. Um, these they're both Dewalt knives, but the uh, the quick releases on them. This one actually. It, pushes down this one just you push in I don't like these as much they don't they've gotten better over the years but they just I, they, I just don't feel like they hold the blade good as much as strongly as I want them um in my little pocket various assortments of nails 16 gauge and 18 gauge um, I've got some staples in there that's what I keep in that pocket. Um, on this side, a bunch of junk is what I've got in here. I need to clean this thing out. This side I've got my chisels. Chisels doing carpentry work. Um, I mean, that just goes hand in hand, right? Um, I, honestly, chisels can be indispensable when uh, you're doing chipped I'm gonna have to take that down and uh, redo that but I've got I've got my chisels and this, this is just cheap set um, because when I'm when I'm doing when I'm doing work typically if I've got this belt pulled out I've got I've got another set of chisels that I don't keep in this belt that I actually keep for fine work um, but this is good for like the other day I had to uh, I had to cut out um, in a two by four. It was on the side of a trailer, so I had to cut out cut out and cut out a little bit of a two by four and uh, make space for some electrical wiring that actually wasn't done correctly. So I took a saw, notched it a little bit and took a chisel and busted busted out where I where I'd not. 
<clears throat> um, let's see. And this pouch, I typically keep screws. Um, this is a self-centering punch. So you take it, say, do I have a hinge in here? Yeah, I got one somewhere. Where are you? There we go. So say you're doing it, putting some doors in or something. And you stick this right here. So it'll it'll center itself in that uh, it's it's got a chamfered nose on it. Can you see that? Really? Yeah, you, you, you can kind of see it. But it's got it's got a chamfered nose or a rounded nose, beveled nose, whatever you want to call it. So it'll center itself and it'll center itself in the hole and you hit this back side with a hammer and That'll give you a mark in the wood, so you can you that that'll give you a center mark for um, for your screw to go in. I'm stepping off camera, stepping off screen. You're fine. So um, that's my tool belt. That's what I that's what I keep. That's what I use. Those are the tools that I use most often. I've got. I'm at the house too, so I'm looking in my garage out my trailer while I'm, and uh, just looking at all the different tools that I've got. I have, I've, y'all have sank some money and some tools. Um, but anyway, comment down below what's your tool belt set up like? Do you have a tool belt? Do you need some help setting up a tool belt? I know a guy. We can get, I, I can help you get set up and like I said it depends on what you're doing I'm doing I'm working with I'm working with wood I do a lot I do woodwork um, honestly I hadn't really done any I hadn't really filmed any of the woodwork I need to get better at that anyway um, but yeah like comment subscribe Y'all know the drill. Um, like I said, what do y'all what do y'all have in y'all's tool belt? What do y'all keep on you? What's your EDC? Everyday carry for those of you that that uh that don't know. Don't don't be don't be mad about not knowing. I didn't know for a long time. Yeah, so that's the tool belt. Uh, let me know what else y'all y'all want to see. I've got um, I've got plenty of equipment. I'm probably gonna give you rundowns on all of it at some point. Anyway, y'all stay safe. Be good. We'll see y'all on the next go round.